Hi guys, James Whitman here for CG Tuts, and today we'll be talking about uh, the process of creating some spherical HDR maps and uh, using them in image-based lighting. And uh, if you don't know what image-based lighting is, it's a really cool technique uh, where you capture the world around you in an image such as this here. This is actually a stock uh, image from the DOSH collection. And as you can see, it's a 360 image. It's uh, being mapped onto a sphere. And um, pretty much every 3D application can use this information to to light uh, to light the scene. It's it is a type of lighting, and um, most commonly, uh, well, cliched is to uh, to render a a chrome ball to show the uh, the reflection of this, and that's what it looks like. The advantages of image-based lighting are that if we can capture our scene correctly, we get a really good lighting setup um, that we can also use in conjunction with the three D program's other lighting uh, methods, such as the you know, the default lights that it has to create some really great lighting setups. What's also great about image-based lighting is that we normally use HDR images. And um, the advantage of using an HDR 32-bit image is that if we need to make some adjustments to the, uh, to the color values and the luminance values, we can do that because we have all that information stored in our 32-bit image. And we can make adjustments without uh, making the image look muddy or, or, or blown out.